creepers. How the heck are you crazy creeps? We are here, Gresham, Oregon. Just kind of creeping right behind the Gresham Station shopping complex. There's this little pond area back here. Nice and shaded though. And we're gonna be doing a little creeping today. The reason why I wanted to start here too. Not only is it beautiful, but we're looking for Crocs. No, not those kind of Crocs. And I'm kind of getting into them. I kind of want a pair, not necessarily to wear all the time, but I have an extensive Simpsons collection. And I'm also trying to find some of the little pins. I think they're called pins or charms, little plastic charms that you put in the holes of the Croc shoes. And what's funny is when they first came out, I used to call them gators and my nephews would say, no uncle, those are not gators. Those are actually called Crocs. But yeah, we are here gonna do a little shopping, see if we can find some of those, see if we can find the pins and just kind of enjoy the day. It is absolutely gorgeous. And we're gonna hit up a couple different shoe stores over here at the shopping mall right here behind me. So stay tuned. We're doing a little creeping, a little crock creeping. Or oh, gosh. Okay, so I did say it right. I almost said gator creeping, but I did say it right the first time. <laughs> so stay tuned. Doing a little creeping. Oh, they got the fountain turned way up. That looks refreshing on a hot day like today. Yeah, it's nice back in here. Little secluded trail. These guys are pressure washing. So we're gonna go over here. And I think next to Burlington, is the shoe mill or another shoe place that'll maybe have them. Maybe Burlington has them too, who knows? That's what we're searching for. Creeping for Crocs. <laughs> All right, just locked the Creeper Cruiser up right here next to Old Navy. And I realized we got famous footwear right here. I think when they have them, because I think I bought my Mama Creeper bought my nephew a pair for his birthday, but let's see if they have, I want bright yellow ones. <laughs> you know, Simpson style. A little different, these aren't really that yellow though. I think, yeah, that's not really yellow either. I'm not really seeing any yellow ones. I like these blue ones though, but yeah, the pins kind of go in the holes like that. That's what they look like. So she's a uh, really nice um, employees helping me here and they actually can order them and that's not bad 40 bucks even got the little yoda pin and alien pin and i saw my nephews and i'm like they got one bart simpson one and i'm like uh oh you guys did that to me i gotta go get them now <laughs> these are cool too i like the blue ones i would actually wear those but i'm kind of just getting them for my collection you know i don't know i'll probably end up wearing them once but wow that's an amazing price though are you sure that's how much they are mm -hmm. wow that's a great deal I might have to have you order me those and then just come grab them when they're in. Yeah. If you can do something like that. Look, well, thank you so much for your help. I really appreciate that. That was really good uh, assistance. Thank you. You too. Thanks, guys. All right. Well, there you have it. All right. There you have it. It's actually better to buy from Crocs the actual um, company online, then come here and bring the receipt with the box and everything and she can do a price match so I can get one pair to actually wear at the regular price, which was like $49.99, but she said if I got it through Crocs, it'd be 50% off, so like 25, give or take. Have them sent to the store and when you come pick them up, or what sent to the house and then when you come here to get the other pair she can do a price match and get me the another another pair for that 495 price but it has to be through crocs because she said they can't discount 
like they, they're a, they're a sub buyer from Crocs, so they can't actually discount the price that they get them for or something like that. So really great info. And uh, yeah, it's going to hold off and probably just do it online then because um, even if that, even if they did have them at that price, she said they didn't have them in my size. But what was interesting is she did say that they run um, bigger. So I didn't have to really go with like 11 and a half. I probably could have went with like a 10 or 11, maybe 10 and a half, something like that. Um, and it probably would have worked just as well. But she said they run really big. So it's going to be interesting. I'm going to get them, I'll probably get them online through Crocs and then bring the receipt here, like she said, and get the discount credited towards the ones for the collection. Because really, I'm not wearing the ones in the, for the collection. I'm just going to put those away. So it really won't matter. So good info. Thanks again to the... All right, we're going to hop into Zoomies real quick. It's kind of like a skateboard, snowboard shop. There's also a shoe mill here. But they pretty gave me some really good info on where to get those Crocs. So I think I'm just going to kind of just check out what... And a good thing about Zoomies is they always have a bunch of decks on hand and they have people here that can put together the skateboard for you, which I always thought was really helpful. I never knew how to do it as a kid. I might be able to put like the grip tape on, but yeah, they've got a bunch of trucks and wheels and other gear you can buy. Just a really neat store. Ooh, I like these Kurt Cobain shades too. That's cool. Sure, I love that drink. We got the liquid death. I've been drinking a lot of those lately. I've seen all the different gear my buddy Mark Fun Jones is still crushing it on his skateboard every day so yeah man it's a great great shop hey bro thanks again for having me have a good one man yeah have a good one you too brother look at this lady <laughs> all right I showed you guys this oh about a week ago here at the park and ride where folks can park to take the max which is our train and check this out this is a good sign we actually missed it actually there was a whole vent here but this pile of dirt is the groundbreaking for the library so they are going to be putting the library and I think it's going to sit closer to this side of the lot but just last week they had some um, the mayor of Gresham and a couple other folks that were in charge of the planning behind this, we're out here with shovels, and this is actual dirt from the the ground. So they are going to be making the library be sooner than we know it. And I did find some pictures, which I kind of vaguely put in last time. They didn't really look very well because they were off my crack screen on my phone. So when I get home, I will insert some of the pictures of the artist's renditions of where that's going to sit. So pretty interesting but it's a good sign to see all this dirt here so the very first signs of the brand new library you'll be able to pull right in on the max here to the brand new Gresham Library East County and most of these signs will probably be removed as well So, a good sign. Yeah, the original artist renditions, it kind of sat closer to this side, and I thought, wouldn't that have been neat if the Max kind of went right through it? Kind of looked like it in the pictures. But nonetheless, it's going to be good to see this area revamped. Looks like somebody set a fire here. That's not good. Frank, flame grilling, but you definitely don't want to flame grill right there. That's not good. All right, just got here to the little foyer of the Gresham Library where it still sits. A lot of really cool events always posted. We just went to this, but yeah, I wanted to stop by and grab this, the artist rendition of that new library so there's a lot better of a picture you guys can see it kind of sits right on division I'm not sure what building's that 
Maybe another library they've already built. Interesting. Looks a lot like the Gresham Historical, our very first library. Yeah, but there you have it. Multnomah County Library. And they said it's gonna be done by fall of 2025. But I'm definitely stoked to see what the new library is gonna hold and look like. I'll never forget in like fourth grade, my friend Travis threw my hat on the roof. Never did get it back. <laughs> Probably still up there. Wow, it feels good in the shade down here. So this was a shoe store back in the day. No longer here. Payless. And I'm almost guessing if they were in business, they probably would have sold Crocs. These guys have been out for a long time. Whenever I think of shoe places too, it always reminds me of Al Bundy. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, there's been abandoned here for quite some time. They even have the... All the shelves and the register and everything in here still. And Crocs today. All right. Like I said, it is a cooker today. Look how pretty those clouds look too. Kind of different. I don't even know what you would call those. I know Kimbula Nimbus and Stratus. Stratus Nimbus. It's been a while. You guys know what those are called? Those are neat. It almost looks like big wings. Wow. Wait a minute. That is gorgeous. Look at this. Hold on. Looks like a big bird. The head here. The wings. Possibly an angel. That's gorgeous. And not only is it beautiful and hot, it's National Ice Cream Day. So I'm pretty stoked. We're going to head up to Mickey D's and get a cone, hopefully. I know people have been telling me that their ice cream machines are down often but I've had good luck I love their soft serve yeah those are so cool looking so that's what we're doing next all right just getting here to Mickey D's going and grab a cone celebrate national ice cream day I was probably gonna get one anyway I've been kind of craving all right just getting here oh they knew we were coming I got these balloons up for us and everything all right let's go get us an ice cream cone Mickey D's all right oh my gosh that looks so good right now good timing I'm not getting a Sunday but we are gonna get a cone yeah. National Cone Day. Alright, we are stoked. Got our ice cream cone. This is National Ice Cream Cone Day, July 16th, 2023. And the reason for this is former President Ronald Reagan opted for this. Not sure why. You have to Google it. But that is good. Good thumbnail. McDonald's was the best. Hands down. The free Friday was a hit. National Cone Day. I probably could have checked the app. I wasn't really thinking. That is good. Alright. Let's 
kind of cooling out in the shade. Yeah, those clouds are really cool looking. Beautiful. Got the arches here, got our ice cream. Don't mind if we do, Mickey D style. That is good. Look at that. Picturesque Mickey D's flags with the clouds. Looking good, Mickey D's, looking good. Oh, I'm gonna drop my ice cream cone on my head <laughs> if I don't pay attention to what I'm doing. So yeah, National Ice Cream Day, I checked a couple other places like Baskin and Robbins and stuff and they said check the app, so I don't know. I feel like if you're gonna do anything national and you have a corporation, you should at least do something free. I know Mickey D's didn't really do it, I didn't check their app either, but you would think they would do like at least a scoop I mean, I guess you could go into Baskin and Robbins and still sample things. I didn't check Cold Stone, I didn't check the other ones, but. Can't go wrong with the Mickey D's cone, though. So yeah, I'm checking the app. I don't really see anything on there talking about anything deals for ice cream, but it was weird as I pulled up the app originally and I had the little like Mickey D's messaging thing, the little symbol, and it said enjoy ice cream, but maybe it was just saying that it was the National Ice Cream Cone Day. I'm not sure, but I do have some points, so that's good. And they also have this new quarter pounder with cheese, cheesy jalapeno. You guys know what you call a nosy pepper? Jalapeno business. <laughs> that was bad. All right, as much as I love the ice cream, I actually love the cone more. It's probably my favorite little treat. Especially with the ice cream still kind of in it like that. I think they were stamped at one point. They did have the Mickey D's emblem on there. I'm not sure what happened. But I do remember seeing it at one point on there. Interesting. Go in and get a water before we leave. That's another thing that makes these cones so good. Or the ice cream so good, I think, is the cone. Or do you guys prefer the sugar cones more? I like the classic. All right, this is so rad. Just got home, and this was on the porch. Oh, yeah. Mama Creeper so good to me. Check this out, you guys. I told her what we were doing earlier, and she went ahead and ordered these for me. Kind of told me already, but I wanted to open it up with you guys and share them. And check this out. There they are. Oh yeah. We got the little pin charms. Oh yeah. So I wanted to get at least the family, and they did them all in that style. With Homer, Bart, Maggie, Lisa, and Marge. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize how many we were going to get. So more importantly, I wanted to make sure I got the family here because I'm going to put them on the shoe, on the Crocs themselves. I don't really see Maggie in that style. Well, kind of. Well, that'll work until I actually get her with this kind of style. It's kind of a more of a cartoony look, but that'll work for Maggie for now just to get the actual set of the family on the shoes. And then we've got... Bart here with the skateboard, a very demonic Bart, some homey love here, <laughs> and the classic Bart and Lisa and Maggie, oh those are cool, I'd like to get Homer and Marge with the face like that, and then we've got another Lisa one, and the Lisa doing the big L, that is so funny, oh I like this Homer one too, oh there's another Homer one too, this one's cool. He's kind of missing his eyes on that one. But yeah, thanks again, Mama Creeper. These are awesome. And I'm going to go ahead and get online next and order those Crocs for $4.95. You can't beat that price. That's going to do it for today. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. That'll ring you in to be a creeper today. You can also ring that bell. That way, when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. And if you did enjoy this, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Till next time, Creeper out for now. Peace.